We've arrived at the Aratuza. I hesitate to use the term dam. Because there is no water here anymore, but there is quite a swathe of animal and bird life. So let's have a quick look. There's a fish eagle flying away onto the top of the dam wall, a juvenile fish eagle. And that juvenile fish eagle has unquestionably been eating, Brian? Uh, You're a fish, yes, correct, fish. That's what fish eagles eat. And there are lots of dead catfish, I assume, lying in the mud here. And I'm sure that's what that fish eagle is eating. Now, if we pan, oh, there are lots of a mixed flock of, I suspect, Widers, oh, look in front of us there, Brian. On the ground, there are a whole lot of little birds. They are all canaries, actually, everyone. Yellow fronted canaries. Sorry, they're the little things just sort of scrabbling about in the, on the ground in front of us. I think if you go, if you go left a bit, you'll see them. A uh, right a bit, so there they are. Those are all canaries, everyone. And they'll be picking up bits and pieces of termite, probably, and the odd grass seed, if they can find it. There are a couple of also grey-headed sparrows, but I don't think you're going to pick them up in this light. And then, beyond the yellow-fronted canaries. We've got a massive herd of Nyala all over the place there. There's a bull and to the right of him, some cows, and another bull behind, and they're all enjoying the sort of last bits of green that are growing as a result, probably of a, could well be a leaking pipe or something like that, that's leaving that as greenery there. Very popular. There's some impala there as well. And I think the hippopotamus from this area has finally absconded and gone to find something else. Hello Cheryl, you're getting hold of us all the way from Oregon and you say with all the lambs and calves that are going to be born in the springtime or certainly in the summer, uh, will the lack of grass mean that the lions and other predators have an easier time of it? Well, yes and no. Um, I think you'll find that we, well, we expect there to be some rain, so we expect there to be much more grass than there is now. Um, if there isn't any grass, I think you'll find, yes, while it might be easier for the lions and leopards and that sort of thing to catch these little ones, the little ones are not going to survive long, and indeed many of the mothers uh, could easily uh, abort their fetuses before they even give birth because you know they, they are so nutritionally compromised themselves. So in principle yes I suppose it's possible that it could be easier for the lions uh, and leopards and wild dogs and cheetahs and hyenas and jackals and other things that like to eat little babies but it's not necessarily so that the, all those babies would be born So there you can see a lovely mixed herd of impala. So, I mean, we were talking a little bit earlier about the fact that, or about species that sort of form friendships, interspecies friendships or aggregations. This is a bit of an example of one here. Those Nyala and Impala, while they're certainly sharing the fact that they've got the last bits of green here, they're also using each other for security.